everybody. Oh, yes. Well, our next guest is one of my dear friends, and he's starring in a new reality cooking show. He's gone big time now, hosted by Guy Fieri. Here's a look at Guy's Grocery Games. Your first game is really a family classic to me. Spaghetti and meatballs. What could be simpler? <laughs> the first game is going to be spaghetti and meatballs, and I think, it, really, is that it? I mean, there's got to be some kind of twist. You are going to have 30 minutes to prepare a spaghetti and meatball feast. Give it to me in three, two, one, go! There they go! Oh, she almost took it out right into the pole. That is a clip from Guy's Grocery Games. A brand new ep episode airs Wednesday night on the Food Network, and someone appearing on that show, not on that clip, appearing soon. Give it up for my friend, the owner of Pinku Japanese Restaurant, John Sycamore, everybody. Good to see you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. If you, if you watch our show uh, with any regularity, you know John looks familiar. He's on here a lot because he makes single-handedly one of my favorite things to eat in the Twin Cities. And maybe we'll talk about that a little bit later, mm -hmm. but yeah. Anyway, I have never watched the show. So what, how does this work? So they did something new for this uh, Guy's Grocery Games on Food Network. They did an all Asian chef themed show. So okay. there was a Korean, a Chinese, a Japanese, and a Thai chef going head to head, cooking all the favorites, giving us themes of things to do. Okay. Your spicy tuna crispy rice might have made an appearance. Did it? Okay. Might have. That's what I love. That's the thing. Allegedly that I love. might have got me through another layer, maybe. Really? Remember, I am like, I can only say so much. I know you can. But allegedly, it probably did well for me. Okay. Alle <laughs> Rumor has it. Rumor, Rumor has, has it. it. Rumor has it. Yeah. But one of the dishes I did do uh, was. <laughs> yeah, what? What in the world is this? So there is a Japanese technique and method called robata, where we're cooking and grilling food without actually putting it on a grill over hot temperatures and oh, base. Is that that? That's what that means? Yes. Okay, wow. Robata yaki. Okay, yeah. Grilling. Got it, yep. okay. And then you put lots of delicious flavors on it. So I made, for the show when I was on, I made a eel soy. I made a miso butter soy to put on top of roasted vegetables. Okay. And for something that will make sense to both of us, we like to watch our calories. So this is more than 50% miso and only a little bit of butter. Oh. So you can put a whole bunch all over the potatoes and it's delicious. And you don't sacrifice flavor. And you don't, and yeah. you don't sacrifice flavor. And it must have been a hit because every judge and guy asked for the recipe after I competed. Seriously? Seriously. Seriously. Oh. They loved it. Really? Yep. And that doesn't... Call me kooky, that doesn't always happen. No, yeah. I was like, seriously? You yeah. know, because remember, I didn't know I was doing this going into it. So yeah. they throw this at you. So on this dish, they said, make something with steak and make it delicious. And that's all they said. And then as you're doing it, what do they do? Hello, Flavor Town shoppers. Stop your carts. We have a special in aisle nine. You must have a secret ingredient from special nine, aisle nine. There's the ingredient. You can't bring it out. I can't. You can't. But this is what I had to add well, oh, after oh, I already no, made him. Oh, you're going to get in trouble. Like, we yep. can't show what it is. Yep. So I literally had to. I was almost Ew. done. I know, right? I was almost done. Yuck. I was almost done. And then I had to add the ingredient. But wait till you see later how I used it. It was perfect. It made sense. Can it I didn't show throw the audience? Room. Yes, you can throw the audience. Cameras that way. Jason that way. Okay. That's all that's in aisle nine. All yeah, of there this we go. stuff. Yeah. So there you go. So I made robotiyaki. I saw bricks. Yeah, what's up with the bricks? So I'm like, literally okay. I'm literally straddling the food over a hot coal fire. Okay. And so I saw them when I went in the grocery store in Flavortown when I was shooting. And I said, bricks, I'm going to do robata at some point. I'm going to do skewers. So I brought out the bricks because you run and get all your groceries and yeah. stuff like this. And I grabbed the bricks. And Guy comes over like, Chef John. Are you going to build a garage? What's up with yeah, the yeah. bricks? And then all Legitimate the judges, question, yeah. Artie from Artie Party, Justin, the Food Network star season eight, and Jet Tila, Food Network, they're all like, Chef John has bricks. Oh my gosh, we've never seen this on Flavor Town before. Yeah. And then Jet, uh, Chef uh, Jet said, he's doing robata. This will be exciting, giving us something new we haven't ever seen before. So all of that grilling turns into this. sirloin with an eel soy, with grilled vegetables that are wilted, the smashed Yukon fingerling potatoes 
with the miso soy dressing. Oh, this is this is smashed. Yep. Let me, so let me it's put this up so people can see. Yep. So let me turn it around. Chippers here. There we go. Chippers. There you go. So that's the smashed potatoes. Yep. And you right. get all that flavor, almost gravy-like quantity. Because when we eat potatoes, right? Yeah. We want like 10 scoops or 10 tablespoons yeah. of butter. Yeah. But I can't do that. No, we can't. Do I don't want to no, do no. that. Because we are over 45. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. John's sticking around. I know. I'm 45. Uh, John's sticking around. Now, this is either a food or a, or a cockatoo. I don't know. <laughs> it could be both. There's a surprise for me under this. We'll see what it is when we come back. Back after this, everybody. <laughs> Staying away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome back, everybody. More of my buddy, Chef John Sycamore from Pinku. Go to Pinku in Northeast Minneapolis. It's fantastic. It's, if you haven't been, people ask me all the time where they should go. You should go to Pinku. Okay, now what is this? So it's your birthday. Yes, it is. And if I was a baker, I'd bake you a cake. Right? Yeah, but you're not a baker. I'm not. No. So I made you a sushi cake. And I have some help. Look. What? Jen! <laughs> it's my Gail! <laughs> what are you doing here? What are you doing here? We kind of wanted to team up and say happy birthday. Were you on the Asian birthday. show too? Were yeah. you competing against? Yeah. yeah. She was the PA. <laughs> what, so what is this? So, well, this is enough for everybody to enjoy the restaurant. But if you didn't know, so my food went into grocery stores at the beginning of July. That's part of it too. So I did a little sampler pack for everybody to enjoy. <laughs> Jen, that's for the audience, Jen. <laughs> So where can where can so you... I partnered with the Twin City Co-op. So I'm at the Wedge Lindale, Twin Cities Co-op and Linden Hills, and the Wedge Table on Nicollet. And that's where I'm starting off, serving great food, great quality, everything that you'd like to enjoy. We at have the co-op. okay. Where's why are you leaving? Where are you leaving? <laughs> we have we have very successful friends, Jen. We do. <laughs> All Asian. <laughs> Back at the high vibes, sister. Okay, there you go. We have a joke in our group. Lisa LaCourcier, who I always talk about. Lisa always claims that she's like, what, 2%? Yeah. 2.5, I 2. think. 2.5, yeah. yeah. We're like, no, you aren't, girl. No, you yeah. aren't. That is, so I get to eat one of those for yep, my birthday? Yep, you can have one of those for your birthday. The audience can enjoy, but really, we wanted to oh. say happy birthday. Thank you. And it's not cake and fattening. I know, right? thank you. Right? All kidding aside, too, so not only is John doing this, but we're also proud of him because you will soon get to have Pinku at MSP when you fly in and fly out. Right. Tell us, tell us, this has been a long time coming. Tell everyone about the, the, the restaurant. Super long process, but we'll open and I'll take custody of the space and we'll get it all ready for all the passengers and travelers mid month. Um, it's going to be beautiful. It's surrounded by glass. I'll have 54 seats, a nice bar. That serves vodka sodas. <laughs> thank you. Thank, on, be, on behalf of the two of us, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. But I have a great bar, a great lineup of food, a great space when people come and go out of the airport. So, and it's been three years. Three, in yeah. We've, three yeah. years. It's been going and, for and a while. And then you're also not just an MSP. We are exploring and I'm having talks with folks in Qatar. <gasps> which is, I have to do this, which is 600 miles from Tehran. <laughs> That's the only way I, everybody needs a reference point. So it's a 100 foot peninsula. Will we be water? In, okay, yeah, yeah. Will we on be invited island, to the opening? Connected. That's all we really care yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. We'll be invited yeah. to the opening. Yes, well, you will. Well, congratulations. I mean, look, you're the best, and you, the success couldn't happen to a nicer person. So oh, thank yeah. you. Thank, thank you so much. We love thank you. you so much. Is there. Now, I. I don't mean to get picky about the present, but is there any crispy rice anywhere in any of the towers? No. no. <laughs> Jen's like, no, girl, go to the restaurant if you want that. Yeah, yeah. Still ahead, everybody. Oh, tell everyone where the where Pinku is. I said, yeah. Pinku's at University in Hennepin, Northeast Minneapolis, right in the middle of the block. It's a nice, small, easy to find, easy to enjoy restaurant. No pretense. Come dressed as you are and enjoy great food. And yeah. support, support John. Support John during the show too. Go watch and, and cheer on, and you'll do well. Rumor has it. I will it. make you proud. You I will, will yes. make you proud. 